Welcome to Hero Room. Today we are going to be talking about Bruce Wayne the Batman. No, I'm just kidding. We're talking about Bruce Banner the Incredible Hulk. No, we're talking about Bruce the Were Lion. He just came out today and his name is Bruce. He is a Were Lion and they called him Bruce. That's the best they came up with. Bruce. Alright, I'm not going to judge because Bruce Wayne, Bruce Banner, they're both badasses. And likewise, this guy's a pretty big badass. I mean, he has 680 health, medium armor, 48 to 72 attack, and an average attack speed. I mean, let's look at that health. 680 health. I mean, so his he has an ability, which is Lion's Fur, which increases his health by 90. So his base health, base health is actually 590. 590 is still, like, more than basically everyone except for the Ant Lord and the Panda Monk. But with that health boost from his Lion's Fur, he has 680 health. That is, yeah, that is legitimately more than everybody there is. He has medium armor, so the second place would be um, Faustus. And Faustus has 625 health and no armor. So medium armor on top of 680 health, that is a lot of health. He can take a beating and he will be fine. 48 to 72 attack, that is more attack than Phoenix. Uh, basically equal attack to two more, equal or more attack than two of Faustus' little attacks, or equal to the Ent Lord's attack. But he also has an average attack speed, meaning that his attacks are actually probably stronger. His attacks are fat, are the same strength as the Ant Lord, but they're also faster, which makes them quite good. All right, so his first ability is Sharp Claws. Each attack can cause bleeding, dealing deals 30 extra damage if the target is bleeding. This first ability is pretty insane. All right, so let's see. We have a bleed. I'm not sure how much it bleeds for, but it's shown to bleed a pretty decent amount. 30 extra damage 30 that means his the minimum he can do to a bleeding target is 78 damage with a maximum of 102 i mean comparing to faustus he that's basically he has basically the damage of faustus on an average attack speed that is pretty good on top of the bleed i really like this first ability even though it's just a passive a bleed on top of extra damage is really nice king's roar Mighty Roar that stuns nearby enemies for 3 seconds. So, this ability was a little less good. It wasn't as great. I mean, f that stuns nearby enemies for 3 seconds. It was a pretty big radius, I'll give him that. Like, the Roar stuns for a pretty nice area. But 3 seconds? The Hammer stuns for 5 seconds on Rag, and it does 120 damage. So, 100, so 3 seconds... To nearby enemies is not too great i mean granted you can move around and attack while they're stunned which is a nice little bonus but it's not great you know what i mean compared to like say again um denaz's celebrity stu stun up to nine enemies for five seconds and really you're not going to stun more than nine enemies so i mean except in very special cases so Nearby enemies for 3 seconds, that's not incredible. It's not great. Lion Fur increases Bruce's life by 90 points. See, normally I don't like these abilities like with Karkonos where, his, where one of his abilities was a passive and it took up his slot and it gave him 90 health. But, I think it was 90 health anyways, but Bruce's 90 health is actually very beneficial to him because... On top of his medium armor, that makes him a huge tank, and he has the damage to back it up. My main complaint with Karkonos was he did not have the damage to back up that health, so he just ended up being a tank there. Whereas Bruce has the health, he has the armor, and he has the damage, which makes him really nice. And Grievous Bites. Bruce bites the target enemy, dealing 270 true damage. So... 270 true damage is not phenomenal. I mean, there here is the arm blade for Jurax, which does 180 true damage. 
So, but, so, that's 270. But, Jurax normally has two of him, which equals 360. So, 270 is actually not great. But, it has, he has shown to be able to spam it out decently. Not spam, I would say, as opposed to, he's able to have it on a very short cooldown. So, 270 true damage is a forgivable sin. It is not horrible, but I would not really put it in i would maybe up the damage a bit just a little bit maybe to 300 so guardian lions this is a very questionable activated power so for all who don't know activated powers are the powers that go along with lightning and with your reinforcements you can place it down and the effect will happen so Guardian Lions, when you put it down, summons 4 lions that deal 720 damage and disable their targets for 4 seconds. Summoning 4 lions that deal 720 damage, in actuality, the 720 damage is, is divided amongst those 4 lions. So they're not actually doing that much damage, they're all doing, they're all doing a very little amount of damage. And like, when you... Th I mean, they they don't they aren't able to hone in on one enemy. Once one hits an enemy, the other three run past. You'll see what I mean later. But they hit they hit one, and then all the others shoot right past it. So that means that you can only do that little bit of damage to that one enemy while the other guys run past. It's not a little bit, but it's not phenomenal. And it's and it snares them or well, stuns them. For four seconds. That's that's kind of nice. Four seconds snare plus 720 damage altogether is forgivable, but it is really not great because there are other ways of stunning. There are other ways of dealing damage. So you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about into this level. So I will be showing him off. Hmm. I think I'll show him off at Griffin Point. So, because we are doing this into an earlier level, I think I'll talk about why, what I think of his early level play and his late level play. So, later in the later levels, he has a bit of, like, he has a bit of difficulty clearing a bunch of guys. But when it comes to dueling, like dueling those spellcasters, he is a god. He will shred through most of those big guys. Like... He will destroy them with extreme prejudice. And I really like that. Like, they did a good job with that. Let's now, excuse me real quick, as I set up. Alright. And as you can see, there's the King's Roar. It's not extremely effective because all he did really did was stun a bunch of little guys who probably weren't going to do much in the first place. But as you can see, his huge damage is showing right now as he's able to just melt a guy in one hit. One hit. One hit. Now here's some bigger guys to show you his dueling power. There's his Roar. And he really didn't use any abilities, so that's a little disappointing. Uh, I'll have to show this off later, and... Incoming! Here, let's... Move him up to fight some mobs. Here's his hero power. So as you can see, it's not like pathetic damage. It's not horrible by any, by any means, but it's like not absolutely stunning. And there you saw his bite. Uh, I'll show. I'll keep showing it because you guys probably didn't see that. It's, it was really hard to catch, but he's not getting dented. He is not taking much damage. I'm gonna have to stop that real quick. We're trying to focus on this. There's his bleed. There's another bleed strike, and see, that elf, I don't think he ha even had a chance to jump back and fire his arrows, because he got bursted down too fast. There are the lions again. See, they do an acceptable amount of damage, and they can still get hit while they're being attacked by the lion, which is a nice little bit that you might want to remember, because it's like a nice stun. And see, boom, he just wrecked that elf in the three seconds that he was stunned. 
and see he's taking all he's taking basically no damage and he's regenerating incredibly quickly so as you can see he is a dueling machine and he can tank it up he will do so well in late game like he does true damage and he has the he has the health to back it up he can just stand there and take it like a man while he's punching them and the three second stun while it's not a great stun it allows for you to be able to do what you need to do in that three seconds because he has incredible burst say you bite them and then you attack them with your bleed and then you just start chipping away at well not chipping actually chunking away if that's the right way to use that well anyways you just slash away at their health and they will keep going down and yeah he doesn't really have to take that many breaks the one complaint about him is maybe his ai where he is pretty blind like i've had him in the middle of a lane and then a guy walks right past him and he doesn't stop them um i think that's something they either may want to fix or you're just gonna have to pay some extra close attention because sometimes he also just stuns somebody and then he doesn't move to attack them he just roars they stand there and he doesn't do anything but those are just a couple minor bugs and if you can handle that or after they patch it he is great um he is probably better than regson actually because regson is reliant on his little power up whereas he bruce is always all around ready to for a big fight and he regson when you get hit too fast too hard you die because you can't take much burst you count on healing quickly and consistently. Bruce, when you get hit hard and fast, he won't go down because he has the health and the armor to get hit hard and fast. So, yeah, would actually highly recommend Bruce. Granted, he gets a little boring because he doesn't actually have that many flashy abilities. But if you're fine with that, if you want a nice brawler, I would highly recommend Bruce. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.